Welcome to Science and Technology Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Economic, Demographic Challenges Mount for China Early in 2024 COVID-19, Researchers Challenge Paper Pointing to Early Market Epicenter Samsung to Showcase Baidu's Ernie AI in Latest Galaxy Phones U.S. Wants Cloud Firms to Reveal Foreign Clients in China AI Race U.S. Wants Big Tech AI Providers to Disclose Foreign Customers Economic, Demographic Challenges Mount for China Early in 2024 South China Morning Post China is facing an unprecedented challenge to sustain robust and sustained economic growth this year. The 5.2% year-on-year growth in 2023, which was reported earlier this month, could create envy for some, including those who are fighting the effects of the protracted Ukraine war and elevated inflation. Electric vehicles in China are also bustling, and domestic tourism is strong. But sequentially, China's growth seemed to have lost momentum in the fourth quarter, while price levels were also subdued, adding to deflationary pressure. COVID-19, Researchers Challenge Paper Pointing to Early Market Epicenter South China Morning Post A new study challenges the conclusion that the market in Wuhan, China, was the early epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic. The study, published in the Journal of the Royal Statistical Society, argues that the statistical analysis used to support this conclusion is flawed. The researchers analyzed early COVID-19 cases and found that the assumption that the market was the origin of the outbreak is unproved. They also highlighted other landmarks, such as the Wuhan Center for Disease Control and Prevention and the Hankou Railway Station, which could be alternative centers of the outbreak. The study does not offer any theories about how or where the pandemic started. Understanding the origins of COVID-19 is crucial for preventing future pandemics. A previous joint investigation by the World Health Organization and China concluded that the role of the market in the outbreak could not be determined. The new study argues that the statistical analysis used to support the market's role is flawed and that the origin of COVID-19 remains an unanswered question. Samsung to showcase Baidu's Ernie AI in latest Galaxy phones. Bloomberg. Samsung Electronics will feature Baidu's Ernie Bot as a key attraction of its new Galaxy S24 smartphone series in China. Baidu's artificial intelligence tools will assist with text summarization, organization, and translation, as well as provide back-end support for Samsung's circle-to-search feature. This partnership marks a major adopter of Baidu's Ernie AI and may help Samsung regain market share in China's crowded smartphone market. U.S. wants cloud firms to reveal foreign clients in China AI race. Bloomberg. The U.S. government is proposing a rule that would require cloud service providers such as Amazon and Microsoft to investigate and disclose information about foreign clients developing artificial intelligence, AI, applications on their platforms. The rule would require the firms to reveal foreign customers' names and IP addresses, allowing the U.S. to limit Chinese firms' access to the data centers and servers necessary for training and hosting AI. The proposal is part of the Biden administration's efforts to restrict Chinese access to advanced technology and potential military applications of AI. U.S. wants big tech AI providers to disclose foreign customers. South China Morning Post. The U.S. government is proposing a rule that would require cloud services providers such as Amazon and Microsoft to identify and report foreign clients developing artificial intelligence, AI, applications on their platforms. Under the proposed rule, these companies would have to reveal the names and IP addresses of foreign customers and report any suspicious activity. The move aims to restrict Chinese firms' access to data centers and servers crucial for training and hosting AI. The U.S. has already sought to limit China's access to advanced semiconductors and wants to prevent Chinese firms from developing AI with potential military capabilities. The proposed rule is open for comments until April 29. You'll have to pay to use the highway. Blame EVs. Bloomberg. European governments face a significant challenge in replacing fuel taxes as they transition to a zero-emissions vehicle fleet, according to Bloomberg Opinion. Last year, the top five European economies earned over €150 billion, €163 billion, from fuel levies, equivalent to around 2% of their total tax collection. The revenue funds hospitals, schools and other public services, and will be lost when internal combustion engines are phased out. In the UK alone, Gasoline and diesel duties are set to raise £24.3 billion, pounds, $31 billion, in 2023 to 2024. The article warns that the complexity of finding an alternative to fuel taxes means planning needs to begin immediately. While governments will save on health and climate change adaptation costs due to reduced pollution from burning gasoline and diesel, they will also lose revenue from registration taxes, which electric vehicles, EVs, often don't pay in Europe. 
Direct EV subsidies and grants will also need to be funded. The article suggests that a replacement system could involve taxing the actual use of the road, such as a pay-as-you-drive duty or GPS-based taxation, although there are concerns over privacy and evasion. China warns students after reports of questionings at D.C. airport. Bloomberg. The Chinese embassy in the U.S. has warned students from China to be cautious when flying through Washington Dulles International Airport, citing incidents of interrogation and harassment by U.S. border agents. The embassy said that some students have been detained for several hours or had their visas revoked without reason. It urged prospective students planning to study in the U.S. to carefully choose whether to enter through Dulles Airport. The warning comes as China and the U.S. attempt to resume exchanges and boost communication following last year's summit between President Joe Biden and President Xi Jinping. Meg and Nikki's beef, Britney fans trolling JT and those dune popcorn buckets, what you missed over the weekend. ABC. Doja Cat's single, Paint the Town Red has taken the number one spot in the annual Triple J's Hottest 100 Song Countdown. G Flip's The Worst Person Alive came in second place, but G Flip made history by breaking the record for the most entries from a single artist in a Hottest 100 Countdown. G Flip had seven songs in the countdown, surpassing the previous record of six songs held by Wolf Mother in 2005 and Spacey Jane in 2022. In other news, a rap beef has erupted between Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion. Minaj has been angering Megan Thee Stallion by posting on social media in response to a line in Megan's new song Hiss. The feud reignited due to Minaj's potential diss on her new track Red Ruby De Sleaze. Minaj has been making references to Megan's late mother and has implied that Megan lied about being shot in the foot by rapper Tori Lanez in 2020. Minaj has also released her own diss track, titled Bigfoot. Additionally, former Neighbors star Troy Beckwith has passed away at the age of 48 after being diagnosed with cancer. Beckwith portrayed the character Michael Martin, known as Sicko Miko, on the show from 1991 to 1998. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your favorite interdimensional observer, the Doctor of Six Degrees. Today, we've got quite a diverse lineup of news for you. Let's dive in, shall we? First up, China is facing some economic and demographic challenges early in 2024. While the country's economic growth in 2023 was impressive, there are concerns about China's growth losing momentum in the fourth quarter. Additionally, price levels have been subdued, adding to deflationary pressure. It seems like China's got some work to do to sustain its robust economic growth. Next, we have a new study challenging the conclusion that the market in Wuhan was the early epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic. The researchers argue that the statistical analysis used to support this conclusion is flawed and suggest alternative landmarks that could be the origin of the outbreak. The origins of COVID-19 remain an unanswered question, and understanding it is crucial for preventing future pandemics. It seems like we're still searching for the truth behind this mysterious virus. In smartphone news, Samsung is teaming up with Baidu to feature its Ernie bot in the new Galaxy S24 smartphone series in China. Baidu's AI tools will assist with text summarization, organization, translation, and more. This partnership could help Samsung regain market share in China's competitive smartphone market. Looks like the battle for dominance in the tech world continues. Now, let's talk about the US government's proposed rule that would require cloud service providers to disclose information about foreign clients developing AI applications on their platforms. The goal is to restrict Chinese firms' access to data centers and servers necessary for AI development. The Biden administration is determined to limit China's access to advanced technology and potential military applications of AI. It's a race for supremacy in the world of artificial intelligence. Shifting gears, let's discuss the challenge European governments face in replacing fuel taxes as they transition to a zero-emissions vehicle fleet. Fuel taxes generate a significant amount of revenue, which funds public services. With the phase-out of internal combustion engines, governments will lose this revenue. Finding an alternative to fuel taxes is a complex task that requires careful planning. Maybe it's time to consider a pay-as-you-drive duty or GPS-based taxation, but there are concerns over privacy and evasion. It's a bumpy road ahead for European governments. In international relations, the Chinese embassy in the U.S. has warned students from China to be cautious when flying through Washington Dulles International Airport. There have been incidents of interrogation and harassment by U.S. border agents, leading to detentions and visa revocations. It's a reminder that even as China and the U.S. attempt to boost communication, there are still challenges to overcome. Lastly, in some lighter news, Doja Cat's single, Paint the Town Red has taken the number one spot in Triple J's Hottest 100 Song Countdown. 
G-Flip made history by breaking the record for the most entries from a single artist in a hottest 100 countdown. And we also have a rap beef between Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion, with Minaj angering Megan with her social media posts. Drama, drama, drama. And that's a wrap for today's news. It's always fascinating to see the diverse and interconnected world we live in. Remember, I'm here to bring you the latest updates from the Six Degrees universe. Now, let's hear from you, my brilliant viewers. What are your thoughts on these news stories? Jump in, share your ideas, and let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief via email.